You're listening to the Wholehearted Podcast, and I'm your host, Cohen Tan. If I had to do something very pure and uh, very more genuine from the heart, um, it it should not have a commercial binding or a time binding or something which is restricting me uh, to just go. You know, you see that flow state. If you want to achieve, yep. uh, you need something which is not binding you with a uh, limitation. And I found probably there are two things that are very pure in that way is if you want to write something, you write with your heart and just go on writing uh, without thinking what the end objective is at that point of time. Or if you're doing painting, uh, if you do painting, it's so pure and this thing you let go. So I jumped into that because more than writing, I felt I'm more a visual guy. So I jumped into painting and I said, uh, I'm going to just experiment. And uh, I started doing that. Uh, it went on from minutes to hours and hours and hours uh, till a point my family thought like I was kind of going crazy. What is he doing? <laughs> having his lunch, dinner, um, or the, the entire weekend, the Saturday, Sundays, he's just sitting and doing this. I realized I was hitting my Zen state. I was just in trance. Um, wow. Just the sheer uh, state where I lost the sense of time, I lost the sense of hunger. All I was running in my mind was that uh, color and shape and patterns that were forming in my head and how, how I was bringing them back on the canvas. And I realized, man, this is high stuff. This is like stuff which can make you feel great and energy. See, you can see. I'm me getting excited when I'm talking. Yeah, about I can see that. Yeah, uh, 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 it's it's just that it gets you into that kind of a uh, state, and I realized, wow. So it just started from that stage, and I said, okay, I'll make a few canvases. I started putting them up, and uh, luckily I had an office, so there was no questions asked. So I would put up all these <laughs> canvases in my office at home, and uh, I used to paint abstract. So people would, uh, some would come and make fun of it. Then say what happened? You spilled the color, or what happened? Or some would come and say, "Wow, what is this?" And then what I did was uh, I opened up my office. Uh, I called different, invited different artists, and I said, uh, "You do you want to pick? Uh, let's do a." And some of these artists were like really big artists, so I told them like, you know, let's do a barter deal. Uh, I'll make a. F you don't have a film, so I'll make a film of you making an art. And you choose one wall in my office uh, or any other space in my office. You paint whatever you feel like, and uh, that also became a very big thing because I went met different different sets of artists. Uh, I would interview them, uh, and that was a beautiful learning for me because uh, it showed uh, how different each one thought, uh, what different techniques they employed. Uh, in terms of making their art and that gave me a lot of confidence to say like you know what you can actually do these kinds of stuff so that one thing led to some architects seeing that and they said uh, why don't you you know what we're designing some house why don't you bring in some paintings we'll buy some of your paintings i said oh wow so <laughs> uh, so now there is a commercial value to what i'm doing and soon i was interacting with a lot of architects interior people designers and then they said, you know what, uh, there is this section in the building, you know, where uh, Harish, you can think of something artistic or something can happen. So one led to the other and uh, I was designing some restaurants, some clinics, uh, some malls, some experience centers to getting down to museums and spaces. I would say I've been blessed and grateful. Thanks for being part of this heartwarming conversation today. To the next episode, stay wholehearted.